Hi and welcome to Yoga with Sula. Today let's talk about how you can incorporate blocks into your yoga practice. Especially if you are new to yoga, there may be some yoga poses that don't feel so accessible to you. And when you're following a YouTube video, you may not know how to use your blocks. How, you, how the blocks can make a pose accessible to you. So, if you are having difficulty reaching the floor in your forward folds, you can always put your blocks under your hands. There are three different settings for blocks. You can put the block on the horizontal side and you get the low setting. You can put the block on its long side and then you get the medium setting. Or you can put the block on the short end and then you get the taller setting. The blocks can be also useful to support us in poses where we're having difficult time finding balance. For example, Trikonasana is a great example. You can just put the block inside your foot and elevate, elevate yourself to find more stability. You can use the block in your half moon pose for better stability again. Another great way of using your blocks is in the seated positions. If you're having a hard time in the cross leg position or any other seated position that requires hip flexibility, if you're finding yourself in the seated postures with a rounded back and unable to become taller, then it would help to sit on a block. You just place the block underneath the sitting bones as if you're just sitting on the edge of the block. And it lifts your hips up and it gives support to your spine. It will help your knees come lower down on the floor and it will also help you reach forward finding your toes. Another great way of using blocks is to support the chest again in the seated position. You can just put it under your chest and you can relax more. With support you can relax the muscles more and you can actually stretch deeper into the pose which will help your progress, which will speed up your progress. I'm always observing that in group classes there's some sort of shame about using blocks and I would like to tell you that I personally love using blocks and I use them in my personal practice all the time to help myself deepen my poses and therefore make better, faster progress.